Hello everyone! With the patch 1.6 is just around the corner, here are some things you can prepare based on the newly released patch notes. The Jin's Summer Skin is confirmed to have 1680 Genesis Crystal as its price tag. But, start from June 9th to July 19th, it will be have a discounted price of 1350 Genesis Crystals. That is a long time to save your money, so no need to worry. Here's also a calculation so you can buy the crystals efficiently. For the first time crystal buyer, one purchase of 980 crystal is enough. It will give you double the amount, totaling in 1960 crystal for the price of $17.43. For the second time buyer, get one 980 crystals purchase, one 300 crystal and two 60 crystals. That will give you a total of 1,400 crystals for only 25.2 US dollar. It's cheaper than buying the 1,980 crystal purchase for $33.53. It has been confirmed that the new area, the archipelago, is limited only to patch 1.6. This means that the Echoing Tales event, where player can get the Barber Summer Skin, will also be limited too. For context, the event requires player to collect hidden conches scattered throughout the archipelago. Collecting a certain amount of conches will reward the player with various items, one of them being the skin. Another thing that will be limited is the new boss enemy, Magu Kenki. It will drop Marionette Core, which is used for the ascension of our new character, Kazuha. Mihoyo does hint that the only other way to obtain this item is to wait for the next patch, which is patch 1.7. The maintenance has been confirmed to start at 6 a.m. at UTC plus 8, and it will last for around 5 hours. That means if you have something to do in Genshin, you have to do it before that time. The maintenance will give us 300 Primo Gems as compensation, and it will increase if the maintenance takes longer than estimated. The event Midsummer Island Adventure will reward players with a new catalyst, Dodoko Teos, and a Nordlander Billet Trove. If you don't have a good weapon for your charge attack based catalyst user, Dodoko Tails will definitely increase their DPS. Not to mention that usually, event reward weapons are very easy to be fully refined. The Northlander Billet Trove lets you pick one billet of any weapon type. If you wanted to refine your crafted weapons or simply making new one that you didn't have, this is your chance. The new Serenity Pot character move-in feature enables you to put your own characters in your pot realm. They will give you rewards if you put them in their preferred furniture set. Some furniture blueprints are locked behind trust rank, and a lot needs to be bought from the realm depot. Start buying furniture blueprints and create them to increase your trust rank from now. If you are done with the Realm Depot right now, save those coins as more furniture will be added through Event, Battle Pass, and Realm Depot. Let's just hope the Battle Pass one isn't required for the preferred furniture sets. Ran out of room to place furniture? No worries, patch 1.6 will increase the load limit of your Serenity Pot and unlock the rooms on your house's second floor. Do you like doing Spiral Abyss? The new Spiral Abyss will have Animal Swirl Reaction buff increasing the damage dealt by 300% and the AOE by 100%. There will also be three moon phases, the Whirlpool, the Breeze Call, and the Brumos. It's as if Mihoyo really wants you to roll for Kazuha. And that's all the tips that we can share with you for now. Happy preparation and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.